Hey Ren Junkies, usually when I'm back in my basement, I am giving you kind of a costume preview when I'm coming up on a Run Disney event. And yes, that is coming, but not today. That's gonna come up in a future video very, very soon. Actually, a while back, I came up with a fun project and that is metal pockets. When we head down to a Run Disney event, many of us end up with multiple pieces of bling over the course of the weekend, but we want to take care of them because we are gonna get pictures with them they look really nice so we want to protect them a little bit as we walk around the parks and get pictures now I personally don't like wearing my medals around the parks for multiple reasons I feel like they just keep hitting me in the gut every time I take a step and I also find that they'll scratch if they're kind of clinking against one another for too long I get uncomfortable I just don't like carrying them around so I usually just wrap them up and put them in whatever bag I'm carrying through the parks so I've built this pocket system for Wine and Dine Marathon Weekend. It really is kind of a prototype, which is why I used the ugliest fabric in my stash. It has six pockets designed to roll around one another with a felt lining. But I had some problems with this because the roll feature was just so cumbersome and you need a lot of real estate to spread it out, which was really kind of a pain, especially when we got to security. So after dealing with that in the parks during the Dopey Challenge weekend, I made some changes and I'm gonna show you how to make these metal pockets today. I also figured out how to make different versions of this. This is a one or two pocket version that I made for my son for Star Wars weekend and a new six pocket version, which is not only good for the Dopey Challenge, but I also figured out that if you sign up for Star Wars, the rival run and the virtual challenge you walk away from that weekend with six medals today i'm going to make a four pocket version which will be for wine and dine look i am not a master seamstress i do not make dresses i'm barely good at making quilts i love to sew i don't do it as often as i would like but if i can do these you can. There is also a no sew option that Joyful Miles did. So check out the link in the description to uh, how they did that. So here are the materials you need to make these. You need an outer fabric. In this particular case, I use 100% cotton, a soft lining fabric like felt or flannel. You need a coordinating thread, scissors or other cutting tools and rulers marking pencil or chalk if you like, and either Velcro for closures or ribbon for a tied closure. So I'm going to make the four metal pocket in this bifold version. So I'm using the appropriate fabric for the outside and a coordinating liner for the inside. Now I based all of my measurements on the largest metal I have, which is the Walt Disney World Marathon Medal from 2018. This metal is over six inches in diameter, so I used this to make sure that the metals are going to fit. So starting off, you're gonna cut the outer fabric and the inner fabric 17 inches long by 14 inches wide. This next step is optional, but I highly recommend it if you are expecting three or four metals. Cut an inner separator sleeve out of the lining fabric. One piece that is eight inches high by 14 inches wide. You can use either fabric for this, but the flannel will be softer on the metals. Now you will sew the outer and inner fabric together along the long sides, right sides together. You will then sew that inner sleeve along the open side.
Then turn both units right side out and set your seams. Set the pocket separator aside for the moment. Press the open ends in a quarter inch toward the inner fabric, that's toward the flannel, then fold in again a quarter of an inch. Sew this down in place. Now make two marks on the inside fabric. One that is all the way across one inch up from the bottom, and another that is all the way across six inches up from the bottom. The one inch mark is where you will set the bottom of the separator sleeve. The six inch line is where you will fold the fabric up. Turn up the bottom end to make your pocket about six inches deep, and mark the bottom of the pocket with a pin or chalk. Now before we move on, you can add a ribbon here on the sides if you like. Cut two 12 inch pieces of ribbon and pin to the sides of the pocket. Now you are ready to sew the sides in place. I switched to a zigzag stitch here from the top of the pocket to the bottom of the pocket. Do this along both sides. Lastly, make one line of the center of the pocket. So measure the width of the pocket. It should be approximately 13 and a half inches and mark up the center of that pocket. Use a straight stitch along the center of that pocket along that line to create two sides and you're done. Drop your metals into each side, fold down the top, and tie it closed. Okay, finishing these up here. So I have two uh, different uh, four pocket metal holders. Uh, this one has that cork fabric that uh, I had found and I used a thicker ribbon on the side. And then I have this other fabric right here. This is the gray. Now what you'll notice I did is I did add Velcro so it will stay closed if it, in case it um, kind of gets dumped upside down. Um, I'm not convinced that uh, if you turn the whole pocket upside down that the metals won't drop out. So the Velcro is just one added uh, piece of that. So you close that up, fold it up, tie it, and you're good. Okay, so I've basically finished off the batch that I'm making for Wine and Dine, and then I have the one to two pocket metal holder. Uh, that's for my son for Star Wars. I have the six pocket metal holder for myself. That is also for Star Wars. I can fit a bunch of uh, metals in there. I'm really excited about that. This one's not quite done yet. I wanna add some Velcro and uh, polish that up a little bit, but this is going to be very effective. So I have a set of pockets for Dave and a set of pockets for me. And uh, we're gonna bring these down to Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. But that's it. So these are really fun to make. They don't take that long. This one maybe, actually I made two of these in an hour. I love that these are kind of a fun gift idea for your favorite run Disney fan if you are looking for making some homemade gift ideas. And I think the best thing about these is that they keep your medals safe and tucked away until you need them or when you want to get pictures taken with them. That way you don't have to carry them around your neck or find a way to stuff them and then they get all tangled up in whatever bag you're carrying. This is just a great way to do this. The nice thing is is that they will undo very quickly and you can show security what is inside. But what do you guys think about this idea? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm back tomorrow with another video for Vlogtober. Like I said, I am gonna come back down here in the next week or so, because I've got to finish off my Run Disney Wine and Dine costumes. So 
you haven't seen the last of my mess of a quilt room. That's it for me today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go find your awesome, and until next time, happy running. <laughs>